Well, with me now is Clarissa as school, who's the UK Chief of Mission of the International Organization for Migration. Um, first of all, Clarissa, this is not the first time we've seen these sorts of images. Why do people still keep making these journeys? Yes, I mean, the issue is not new, it's not recent. Uh, in the past few years, we've seen an increase on the number of migrants attempting to cross the Mediterranean. Uh, it's difficult to, to say exactly why this is happening, but very likely it's because there's such an increase in instability and, and, and in the situation right now in the Middle East and in some African countries, which is leading people to, to, take, to, to, to take up dangerous routes in search of, of better situations. And once they've started on these routes and they get probably you know, involved with smugglers or dangerous routes, it's very difficult for them to, to get out of the situation. Should there be any messages going back home telling people that these journeys are dangerous? And if those messages did get back, would they even listen? But I think it's important to raise awareness all the time on the dangers precisely and the risks because what we see now is, uh, when we see these, these images, it's, it's very, very distressing to see the suffering of people. Many of these people are already vulnerable. The, the women, children, or they're running away from situations like the Syria war. Uh, so it is, it is very important that, on the one hand, people are made aware of the risks, and also that we try and find solutions together. I think countries, governments have to get together and work on these issues and continue to save lives, that's a priority. And then something else, of course, which we, we tend to forget sometimes, is usually we see these images in Europe, but this was in Libya, and Libya itself has its own problems, so it can't even cope with what's happening. That's right, and I think the situation right now is allowing groups to, to be organizing these smuggling routes. Uh, the situation in Libya, because it's, it's in a disarray right now, it's, it's inviting more and more of these smugglers to, to, to be active in this. So there's and very little that can be done. Yeah. And just finally, another element of this message, of course, is that when the migrants do eventually get to Europe, it is not, the streets are not necessarily paved with gold, are they? No, no exactly. So it's important to try and have more information campaigns at, at, at different, different countries of origin in Africa, for example, and also different routes, along the routes where migrants tend to, to move, it would be important to have you know, information sessions, to be able to, to, to take a look, to talk to these migrants and see what type, what, who they are and what their story is, to see if, uh, if they can be helped before they take these, these dangerous routes. Thank you very much. That's uh, Clarissa Askell of the International Organization much. 